Hello dear students. Welcome to Geography lesson. Lesson number 7. India Minerals and Power Resources. In this picture, you are observing hydroelectric project and also power transmission high tension cable. These are the pictures related to the lesson. In this lesson, you study about minerals, types of minerals, hydroelectric power resources, and their types and their uses. You also study about energy crisis and remedies. Let us discuss them in detail. 10th Standard Geography Unit Number 7 India Minerals and Power Resources in this chapter, we learn the following concepts that is, introduction to the minerals of India and their importance, distribution and production of the major minerals of India, need of non conventional energy resources like solar power, wind power, scarcity of energy resources, their conservation and solutions. Like causes of scarcity of energy resources. Fill the blank with suitable answers. The most important ferroalloy metal is dash. The main source of aluminium is dash. The important non metallic mineral is black diamond is. Shimanasamudra Hydroelectric Power Station is in the state of the first hydroelectric power plant in India was installed at. Let's see the answers. The most important ferroalloy metal is iron. The main source of aluminium is bauxite. The important non-metallic mineral is mica. Black diamond is coal. Shivana Samudra Hydroelectric Power Station is in the state of Karnataka and the first hydroelectric power station was installed in India at Darjeeling in West Bengal. Here in this table, I have given you the details of iron ore. Iron ore is a ferrous metallic mineral. India is the fourth largest producer of iron in the world. Nearly 35% of its production is consumed by our own iron and steel industry. For example, Vishweshwaraya Iron and Steel Industry, Tata Iron and Steel Industry, Jamshedpur, Bokaro, Bilai, Vishakhapatnam, and Salem Iron and Steel Industries are using the same. In Karnataka, we get iron reserves at Sandur, Hospete, Kemanagundi and Kudremo. In India, Odisha is the largest producer of iron ore. Manganese Manganese is the most important ferroalloy metal. It is India is one of the leading producer of producer and exporter of manganese. In Karnataka, Uttar Kannada, Shivamogga, Ballari, Chitradurga and Tumkur, districts have manganese reserves. Manganese is used for the manufacture of steel and also in the production of dry batteries, paints, glass, pottery and calico printing. Odisha is the largest producer of manganese. Bauxite. Bauxite is found in Karnataka in the places like Uttar Kannada, Blagavi, Chikkamagaluru. The largest reserves of bauxite is in Odisha, Gujarat, Jharkhand, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Tamil Nadu and Madhya Pradesh. Among these states, Odisha has the largest reserves. 
Bauxite is the main raw material in the production of aluminium. Mica is one of the important non-metallic mineral. Mica sheets are used in electrical industry, telephone, aeroplanes, automobiles, and wireless communication. Today, because of synthetic mica, mica's export has come down. India is the largest producer of mica and even exporter. Mica can be easily split into very thin transparent sheets and it is heat resistant. Andhra Pradesh is the leading producer of mica. Now, let us see some important question answers. What is the meaning of mineral? Give example. Mineral is a natural inorganic substance that possesses a definite chemical composition and physical properties. Example, iron ore, manganese and bauxite. What is mining? The process of extracting minerals from the earth is called mining. What are the uses of minerals? Minerals are useful for industrial development, construction purpose, progress of transport and communication, trade and commerce. What is meaning of power resource? The resources which are necessary for the generation of energy are called power resources. Mm -hmm. Write the importance of power resource. Power resources are essential for economic development and improving the standard of living of the people in a country. Power resources play a major role in the development of industry, agriculture, commerce, transport and communication. In power resources, there are two types, conventional power resources and non-conventional power resources. Conventional power resources are also called exhaustible. Example, coal, petroleum, natural gas, nuclear minerals. In the non-conventional power resources, solar wind, tidal, geothermal energy and biogas are examples. What is the importance of coal? Coal provides many byproducts such as ammonia, coal tar, coal gas, benzol, naphtha, sulfur. Coal are byproducts. Its byproducts are also raw materials in chemical industries. Example dyes, plastics, synthetic fiber, rubber. To which period available coal of India belongs to? Coal reserves of India are associated with two geological periods, namely Gondwana and Tertiary coal deposits. However, the Gondwana coal is extensive and more important. Where do we find coal in India today? In India, we find it in Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Maharashtra, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya, and Nagaland. What is petroleum? What are the uses of petroleum? Petroleum is mineral oil which is composed of hydrocarbons. Petroleum is an important fuel as well as raw material for many industries. It is an important source of commerce. It is an important source of commercial energy and is largely used for transport. It provides raw materials for various petrochemical industries 
such as synthetic rubber, synthetic fiber, drugs, fertilizers, and dye stuff. Where do you find petroleum in India? In India, we find it in Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. It is also found in Bombay High of Arabian Sea. Bombay High oil field extends in Arabian Sea near to Mumbai has the largest reserves of petroleum and is the highest production of crude oil is found here. Gujarat is the second leading oil producing area in India. Ankleshwar, Kambay, Kalol, Navagon, Masena are the places in Gujarat. Where was petroleum discovered for the first? Petroleum was first discovered in India at Markum in Assam. What is hydroelectricity? Electricity generated from the force of falling water is called hydroelectricity. Why should we develop hydroelectricity? Hydroelectricity is renewable, cheaper and has high calorific value than coal and oil. It keeps the machines clean and it can be easily transmitted. India does not have adequate fossil fuels such as oil, coal and natural gas. Hence, there is need to develop hydel power. Besides the factors, there are favorable factors for the development of hydel power is found in India. The important hydropower generation stations are in Karnataka, we find it at Shivanasamudra, Shimsha, Sharavati, Linganamakki, Alamatti, Varahi, Kali, and Badra. In Tamil Nadu, it's Metur, Paikara, Papanasam, Periyar, Moyar, Kunda, Suruliyar, Kodayar, and Soliyar. In Maharashtra, it is Kwayana, Kopoli, Bola, Bupuri, and Bira. Odisha, Irakud, Bhimkud, Balimela, and Ragali. Likewise, in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Kerala, Gujarat, and Bihar, we find hydroelectric power generating stations. What is energy crisis? What is its effects? There is a great demand for energy, but the production of energy is insufficient. This causes energy crisis in the country. It has adverse effect on industrial, agriculture, transport and trade. What are the reasons for energy crisis? Point number one, meager deposits and shortage of petroleum, poor quality of coal, erratic rainfall and shortage of water for the generation of electricity, loss of power in the process of transmission and limited use of non-conventional energy resources. These are the reasons for energy crisis in India. Write the remedies to overcome energy crisis. Increase the production of petroleum and coal. Steps to be taken to have substitutes for oil and coal. Importance must be given to increase water power generation. Greater use of non-conventional source of energy. What is nuclear power? The energy generated from the atomic minerals is called nuclear power. Name the two nuclear minerals required to produce nuclear energy. Uranium and thorium. Dear students, so far we discussed many number of questions and few tables related to minerals. 
in detail. All these are very very important even in the examination point of view and these are the major questions of the lesson. I wish you all the best. Thank you.